Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Remnant from the Ashes. Good lord. This game has been on my little list of games to play and upload for a little while now, so let's go ahead and get it out the way, alright? Let's go ahead and start and create our character. Looks like it was important. What in the world? Once. Okay, I don't know about that. Jesus Christ. Uh, hold on. Can I randomize this again? No, randomize it. Randomize it again. Okay, we'll go from this. Skin tone. Wait, what is this, dude? Why can you only... So what? If you randomize it, it also changes your skin tone. What the hell? Okay, we'll go with this. Facial hair. Sure, dude. Hair color. I actually kind of like this color. Eye color. The gray kind of matches the hair. Scar. No scar. This doesn't look like a scar. This could be used. This could be useful. We'll go with that voice. Game mode. Hardcore and standard. I mean, like, what's the difference between standard and hardcore? I, I'm sure there is a difference, but I want to know, like, what what does hardcore offer to the table, you know? How about we go standard game mode, hard mode, hard difficulty. I think that's a solid approach. Um, Should we go with the Geralt of Rivia hairstyle? I don't know why, this just reminds me of Geralt. Good lord. Uh, I think. Oh, we're not going bald, dude. We'll rock this one, I guess. Yes. Let us begin our journey. Oh my god. Frenzy dust. Am I the only one that just wants to take a bite out of that? Like, what is that, dude? What can we do when our last hope fails? It looks like candy. That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. Yeah, have fun trying to sleep on that rinky dink boat. What in the world? Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey would not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our warrior, face what lurks within. When our last hope fails. Why are you squirming so much? Just swim up. Place. So long as we have breath. Just propel yourself upwards. What in the world? Just flailing like what the what are you doing, dude? The simula crumb. What in the world? Is that how you pronounce that? We're alive. Our journey begins now. Wait, what? The session will be joinable after completing the tutorial, all right? Interesting. Press C to crouch. Ooh, we can slide too, all right now. Left mouse. Ugh. Bloodwort. Consumables offer temporary aid. They can be found in the world or purchased from merchants. 
Consumables will automatically be equipped once picked up if there are no other consumables in the inventory. Press 1 to equip, to use the equipped consumable. Okay. We blood warding now. Very nice. I already used it. Relax, game. Get off my screen. Jesus. Come on. Die. Nice. Well, get obliterated, I guess. He got absolutely bodied. Oh my god. Press space. Nice one. Good. All that Dark Souls 2 has prepared me for this moment. My trials and tribulations in Dark Souls 2 have proved fruitful. Truly. Come, gentlemen. Ooh. Ah. That damage is incredible. My god. Alright. Space. Oh shit, Jesus. My ears. I shouldn't have gotten close. Nice. Okay, we're kind of popping off right now, though. I mean, we did lose a lot of health. I could use some more blood wart. Oh, look at this cretin. Hold on. Very nice. Dude, I like the sword. It's got like, it feels... It feels weighty. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I need more blood wart now. The sword feels weighty. Like, a, the, it feels like there's power behind the swing. You know what I mean? Dude, what is going on over here? out. Dead. He's gone. Dude, who is in here? Why haven't they opened the door yet? Good lord. Every game's got to have a gremlin enemy. They always do. The end is nigh. Oh my god. It's over. We died. It's that simple. Never mind. Good lord. Hang in there. Hurry up, Ellie. Okay. We got company. Move. Move. You get cut off like that. Hydro coolant. Meant for old engines, but ain't no engines to run no more. Works just as well on people in a pinch. <laughs> what? You're awake. Are we just like chugging antifreeze? Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. 
don't want to start bleeding again, do you? See, is it pronounced antifreeze or antifreeze? I feel like it's easier to say if it's antifreeze, but antifreeze. That sounds like some like super villain name, to be honest. Who are you? I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Who's the commander in chief? Oh, Commander Ford. She's in charge. Harrison Ford? Oh, commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. I'm sorry, buddy. But he's... Was... Never mind. Yeah, he's dead. He's gone. He's dead. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. Affirmative. Thank you, Willem Wallace. You I appreciate it, man. Good lord. Okay. Talk to Commander Harrison Ford. Mm. Not a problem. Dude, you, I like the role in this game. Look how far you go. Jeez. It's not too shabby. She kind of looks well, like Ellen. Look who's away. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. Yeah, you guys just like watched me for like 10 minutes before you decided to help. You let your own guy die. Who are you? I'm Commander Ford. This is my base and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or we'll let the root have you. Jeez, dude. I'm trying to get to that island across the water. Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time, but you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. Hmm. All right, but what do you want me to do? First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. Okay, but where is the reactor? The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Okay, but why would you trust me with such a task? Because I'm not losing any more of my people today. So I'm expendable. We already lost a man All right. there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs about your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. You don't you do know this me. For us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. I have fists of fury, alright? Good lord. Absolute fist of steel. Can I punch this? Look at that. Look at that. You're out of your mind if you're telling me that wouldn't do a thing against the root. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Okay. What the? Excuse me, sir. Are you Riggs? Why do we walk hey, up on them like that? What the world? On your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. Did you help me? I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your uh, sword mm. was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Okay. I, think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Yeah, maybe. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. Got it. So you got nothing for me, buddy. Understood. What about you? Keep walking, stranger. <laughs> you lost? You lost. All right, got it. She's got nothing for me. Jeez, dude. No need to be so rude and hurtful. My God. What about oh, you, buddy? Hey, friend. 
The actor's just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. Will do, Lee, from the Walking Dead video game. Jesus Christ. So what, they got Lee voicing an NPC. I know the guy's name is not Lee, but I'm not too sure about his real name. I don't know his real name. I just know he voiced the Lee. They got him voicing an NPC and he's a voice option for your character. Where are you? I swear. If you try scaring me, I'll... <sighs> Can I have that trench coat? What? Where the hell did you come from? The door? <sighs> Nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? 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 I'm looking for the reactor. Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? No. Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, it's just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. And with the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Maybe. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You yeah. probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. A weapon would be not. Oh boy, here we go. Select your archetype. Okay, the hunter. The hunter specializes in long-range, precision-based combat. Armed with an ultra-precise hunting rifle, sturdy repeater pistol, and versatile scrap sword, the hunter excels at taking out targets before they get close. Their mod, Hunter's Mark, marks enemies, allowing the hunter and their teammates to see targets through the walls. It also increases critical hit chance against marked targets. Okay, not bad. The Ex-Cultist. The ex cultist specializes in mid-range combat and support. Armed with the powerful coach gun, sturdy repeater pistol, and deadly scrap hatchet, the ex cultist controls the mid-range with excellent burst damage. Their mod, Mender's Aura, casts an area of effect heal that gradually restores health for all teammates. I like that, that's pretty nice. What about this dude? The Scrapper. The Scrapper specializes in close-range combat, armed with the devastating shotgun, sturdy repeater pistol, and massive scrap hammer. The scrap hammer is at their best when going toe-to-toe -to -toe with their enemy. Their mod, Hot Shot, imbues their ammunition with fire, giving it a chance to set enemies aflame. Interesting, so you got the long-range, the mid-range, and the close-range archetypes. Huh. I kind of want to go with the hunter just because he looks cool. <laughs> to be honest, I'm going with the hunter, dude. There. That should improve our odds. Shadow Walker. Get up there and start the reactor. Wait, what is that? Trait? Enemy awareness range minus six. Endurance, vigor. All right. Ooh. Wait, how do I switch weapons? Uh. Nice. The scrap sword. Wait, how do I? S how do you switch? Get up there and start the <laughs> Silence. Press. Oh, okay. I'm I'm rebounded. Okay, gotcha. I thought it was like the numbers. How do you switch to the melee weapon? Oh, okay. The melee weapon, you just you don't aim, and you just hit left click, and it'll use the melee weapon. Understood. Got it, dude. I got it. We're getting back into the swing of things. We got this. Alright, let us begin. Press space bar. Run system test. Coolant pumps failed. Everything is failing, dude. Actually, I'm not reading all of that. Never mind. Initialize the reactor. Jesus. Bring it on. Survive for two minutes. Oh my god. Boom. Oh my god. Oh. All right. 
Jesus, dude. It's rough. I haven't played a shooter in a while. Dude, where are the enemies? I think she's getting swarmed down there. Oh my god. Alright, she's struggling a bit. Dude, I can't- I can't hit their head! <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Give me that scrap. We're fine. Yeah, I'm still with you. Just trying to survive, you know? Good lord. Are you dying? Dude, why are we so bad? Come on. There we go. Nice. Did you see him? Did you see that? That dodge? Jesus Christ. I didn't even shoot at him. Coward. 20 seconds. Oh, God. Nice. You're lucky. No! Why are there so many of them? Oh my god. We just gotta kill the last few. It's just one guy. Just shoot him. Are you kidding me? There. We did it, dude. Relax. I gotcha. His mouth didn't even move. I think we're good. We did it. Not bad. You fought good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Nice. Well, that wasn't too shabby, but man, do we suck. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Don't worry, we'll get better, okay? Okay, I, I, I swear we'll get good. I just gotta warm up a bit, alright? Oh god, don't break my legs. What do we use the scrap for? To maybe like reinforce things? Upgrade things? Possibly. Not too bad though. So how does saving work in this? Can you just like... Oh no, that's just like exit to main menu and stuff. Okay. We're zooming. Sure, it's good to have some light around here. You were using the torch anyway. I mean, what do you mean? You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. My mission is more important than the risk. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but. I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? Probably. I mean, I'll try. That's the spirit. Uh, here. I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there. In the a world. dragon heart? An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, Come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. Ellen. Uh, oh, her name is actually forward. Ellen? She knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. 
to get you on your path. <laughs> I knew those similarities. Those similarities were they were shockingly scary, dude. The dragon heart can be used to replenish lost health. There are a limited number of uses before its power is depleted. Dragon heart charges are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying. Rescue to use dragon heart. Got it. So it's the Estus of this game. Understood. What are you selling? a while since I was in a fight like that. Okay, I guess I can't talk to her. Understood. Where's Ford? Oh, she's still yeah. up there. Hold on. Dude, what happened to my armor? I thought I was going to get some armor too. I wanted the trench coat. Good lord. We've just been robbed. All right. Glad to see you got the reactor running. And I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. He thinks I have a destiny. He mentioned the founder of War 13. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. All right, I'll take whatever help you can offer. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. That's why I'm They'll asking for your help. Downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Jesus, dude. Okay. Upgrade equipment with rigs and armory. Got it. Is this where we get the trench coat? I just want the trench coat. Oh, yeah, there it is, dude. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Okay. Iron and scrap. Nice. Upgrading guns and armor. Riggs can upgrade your guns and armor with the materials found in the world or by defeating enemies. Upgrading your guns and armor is essential to keeping up with the increasingly difficult enemies in the game. All right, well, let's uh, upgrade this, I guess. Boom. That's all we can do. All righty. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Hey, now, that's better. Oh, and uh, take this. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts. Ah, yes. Oh, dude, now we're ready. Hmm, Hunter trench coat, Hunter shroud, and Hunter pants. I guess Ford ordering me around isn't all that bad. Can you even spare the supplies? It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. Respectable. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. Got it. Talk to McCabe. McCabe. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. What did Ford say? <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. To Ford's what? What is your problem? Wanders in, and we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler. Got it? I don't upgrade trash. I barely even know you. What is wrong with you? This is the first time we're truly speaking. Oh my god. Okay, got it. All right then. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we're dealing with here. From the look of that rifle, you're not getting close to the action. This will keep those weeds in your sights. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. You've talked more than me. Yeah, yeah. Fiend, dude. Absolute fiend. The hunter's mark. Weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on enemy targets. When the power meter is full, press F to activate the weapon mod. 
Some weapon mods activate immediately. Others activate an alternate fire mode for uh for the uh, uh for the weapon, allowing you to shoot pro powerful projectiles with devastating effects. Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory screen, selecting a ranged weapon, and hitting X to equip a weapon mod to that weapon. Got it. Wait, I don't want the hunter's mark on the pistol. Put it on the the repeater. Hold on. Uh. Wait, how do I? Yeah, change mod. Wait. How can I unequip this mod? And put it on the repeater. Are you kidding me? Unequip. There we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Return to Commander Harrison Ford again. Jesus Christ. Oh, it even changes the look of the weapon a bit too. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are... We're out of options. Choices. We're out of Considering options. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Alright, thanks. Well, uh, don't thank me just yet. Got it. The Datla key. Datla. Not too shabby, dude. Can we finally escape this, this prison? This madhouse. Uh, that lucky. Nice. Initialize it. Jesus Christ, what? That is a piece of candy. Really even, isn't it? I, I I'd read about it, but I never saw it working. This red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. You mentioned the founder, though. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. And one day... He didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. He's probably dead, but do you think he's still alive? He knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. It's been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Nice. Good luck. Thanks, I guess. Jesus. I appreciate the courtesy. Good lord. Galvanized iron. Superior. Reinforced iron. Good for armor or anything else. That's gotta take a bullet. This session, session, is now joinable. That's beautiful, dude. Can we finally go? Wait, this pistol has a mod equipped to it too? Wait, what is it? Very good boy. Summons a very good boy that deals 80 damage per bite. Pet the dog to increase his damage dealt by 5% for 60 seconds. Last 60 seconds. What? In the world? Hey, I'll take it. Don't question it. Just accept it. 
Jesus, dude. Use the checkpoint. Nice. Survival mode is now available. Okay. Travel? To the founder's hideout, I guess. Let us go. I don't know how I got that mod. Maybe, I don't know, some sort of like add-on? Maybe? I don't know. That's it's a little odd, but I'll take it. We can have a little dog companion, dude. Is this the place? Investigate Founder Ford's hideout. All right. Let us begin. So these things are the checkpoints. Got it. We shall investigate in the next episode. Good lord, dude.